<laughs> There's loads of yos came in to get shelter from the storm. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, look, they're all coming out thinking I'm giving them fresh pasture somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, bunch of wusses. No, I'm not sending you off anywhere. <laughs> There's still some up there in the field. Hello, how are you, Kestrel? No, you all can stay there. <laughs> Too funny. Oh, there's yos that are sheltering in the hedgerow up there, coming out thinking I'm going to do something. Sorry, ladies. Not happening. Literally dressed for winter. It is cold, wet, windy. The only difference is there's leaves on the trees, so it's not winter. <laughs> Look at them. They're all going back inside now. They don't want to be wet <laughs> on this cold day with their short, without their fleeces. How are you, Kestrel? How are you? How are you? You're a beautiful girl. She's a beautiful girl, aren't you? Now, despite the weather, I've got a man with a digger coming. And there's this whole area here. You can see we had lots of orchard trees. There's plums, pears, a few cooking apples in this um, little small orchard, which my grandfather always called the plum orchard. The remnants of some plum trees, they were the rootstock. The original plums died and the rootstock plums grew. Anyway, all those trees I have from uh, that are next to the vine house. We're gonna clear this area up and we're gonna plant a whole bunch of them in here. So the digger man is gonna clear a lot of this area and the digger man is a friend and a lot of the garden waste is all gonna be piled in one location. And then we're gonna dig the holes and plant the trees. And I'm also going to create, that means also wiping out a lot of this. There's a trunk under there from a dead tree. There's branches just to clear it out so I can plant a whole bunch of fruit trees in here. But also there was a old, there was an old wooden shed that was falling apart that was standing on that cement block there. And <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is create this area as a flattened area. I'm gonna get more barrels to go under there to catch rainwater. And this is gonna be my tree nursery instead of next to the vine house. So we're gonna level this up, all these barrels, some of these barrels will be useful for something, I'm not sure what yet. But um, I used to have these when I was training horses, breaking and training horses, these barrels were used to train for jumping. And so this area, I'm going to level this out and you clean it all off. And this is going to be where my baby trees and pots are going to be. And I'm going to um, get my plumber friend to get me more troughs to catch rainwater so that I can water them. But uh, yeah, so busy life today in this neck of the woods. So there will be good few trees planted hopefully today if they're not planted at least the ground will be prepped for them and with time I can set up a watering system of rainwater <laughs> this is looking very bruised and battered from the wind and all the rain but they're probably really enjoying the rain so up through here out into the garden Oh, the perfumes just hit me of the roses. Wow, delicious. Anyway, over here, 
all these trees that you see, the, all these trees I hopefully will be planted today or in the next few days. I know it's late in the season to be planting, but you, when you're depending on others to do jobs, there's only a certain time, but I'm gonna put tubes in and they're gonna be well mulched, so that'll be better. Anyway, once they're gone, I'll be able to plant my sweet peas and put some chicken wire up there and the sweet peas can grow on that south facing wall. A lot of these hydrangeas, I've got to weed my pots. Look at that, lots of weeds in my pots. A lot of these hydrangeas, as you know, I've been growing on from cuttings so a lot of them I'm hoping to plant this year because you can see they're beginning to suffer from being in pots for too long. Some of them are doing really well, like this one. And this one's doing really well, but that one needs help. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy few weeks of planting hydrangeas and moving trees. So my nursery, see those are cherry plums. I have to transplant my hazels and my um, oaks over there and then over here these were oaks that I recently potted up and these are all baby trees that need potting up and I want to move out there because I think having all the trees together I can then have things like um, sweet peas here or figs or something edible outside the vine house at least that's the hope Look at these. I've got to plant these out. I haven't dared plant a lot of these pots out because I don't want to, um, I didn't want them to get frosted. So I'm deadheading these like mad. These are Bidens and bees love them. And I'll be potting um, some of these up to literally be outside here so that the bees will fly in there and pollinate my tomatoes. So deadheading. <clears throat> I still have this horrendous cold thing and I gather from my cousin that I'm due to have it for 10 days to two weeks. So look at all this deadheading, loads of deadheading. Anyway, see there's that fig tree. That fig tree needs to be planted out this lovely vine I want to plant out. So I'm going to make this wall lovely. So my tree nursery is going to move to a new location. And this tank is completely full. Oh, it's filled so much. It's now flooding into there. Hey, kitty, what you doing in there? Don't tick down my tomatoes. You good dogs. It's wet, isn't it? It's very, very wet. Look at all my deheadings. Yeah. Oh, and um, my first water lily this season. Yay! It was open yesterday, but today it's going like, it's too cold, it's too wet. I'm not doing anything. It's like it's winter. The cats are next to the aga. That's drying next to the aga as if I'm finished for the summer having my summer chair. I'm having a coffee and it's pouring rain outside and the lights are on and it's 11 in the day, in the morning. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yes, manky, manky, manky day. Well, this has been done. That's been leveled out. The barrels have been returned. Some of those are gonna be going to the dump because they're rotten, but they're back there. And now this section is being cleaned up. Woohoo! I forgot about my dead fence post collection. Look at all those dead fence posts. There's logs as well from that plum tree, uh, pear tree that fell this spring. There's a log. But I completely forgot about my dead fence posts.
anyway, this is clearing up beautifully. It's going to look great. Well, dearie, dearie, dearie. That's a full stop in the job. One of the fence posts yanked that off. <laughs>